and welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is about classification. Uh, you've already looked at variation and what's the differences between animals within a species and um, between species. And now we're going to look at how we classify um, animals, plants and all living things. So before we get started, um, can you have a little look at uh, this retrieval practice? OK, so if you're following along with the worksheet attached, um, it's in the link of the video or it'll be attached to your lesson. Uh, these questions are already on the sheet. So press pause on the video now and have a little go at these questions. OK, so you should have had a little chance to have a go at these questions. If you're struggling with the questions, go back over through your notes, have another go, pause the video, have another go. Try to uh, put something down um, before you move on and look at the answers. OK, so the next slide's got the answers. But before we move on, do try to try and access that information in your brain. OK, it will help. I know sometimes it's difficult, but it will help you to remember it if you can remember this stuff that you did a little while back. OK, so here's the retrieval practice answers. So just pause the video and you can go through those answers against your uh, questions. OK, so today's lesson, what we're looking at today is how do we classify organisms? How do we classify all living things? So I want you to be able to recall that organisms can be classified based on their experience, ex experience, appearance, explain the differences between vertebrates and invertebrates and describe the five um, vertebrate groups. Analyze and evaluate problems with the classification system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to think, talk about the five main groups, and these are called kingdoms. Okay, so how do we classify all living things? If you think about living things, what could you classify them as? In your head, you probably have two thoughts, and it's classifying them all living things as probably plants and animals. Okay, but there's actually five. The other ones are fungi bacteria and protocysts okay so there's actually five but plants and animals are the main ones so that's probably what came into your head first okay so most living things belong to um, the animal kingdom or the plant kingdom like we said that's probably what came into your head okay now i want you to make a list of as many different animals um, and plants well let's go with animals okay as many different animals as you can in a minute okay so pause the video Put a minute on your, your phone, on a timer, and go for it. One minute, see how many you can get. I'm paused. Okay, so hopefully you had a go. One minute. Now I want you to circle the vertebrates and underline the invertebrates. So what does that mean? What's a vertebrate? What's an invertebrate? Okay, so I want you to circle the vertebrates and underline the invertebrates. If you know what that means, you can pause the video and you can do it now if you need a little bit of help. OK, so a vertebrate is an animal with a backbone and an invertebrate is an animal without a backbone. So pause the video now, have a little go. All those animals that you've made a list of, have a little go now. OK, right, so you should have identified, you should have started to classify those animals into vertebrates and invertebrates. OK, so the animal kingdom can be classified into vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates have a backbone invertebrates don't so invertebrates are all of these kind of things a bit jellyfish flatworms uh, mollusks your mussels your, your slug your snails ectodont arthropods these are all your invertebrates we're going to focus on vertebrates for the rest of the lesson and those are the ones with the backbones mammals fish reptiles amphibians and birds now one of the ways i use to remember all of these is mr fab so you've got your mammals mm, your reptiles, r, fish, f, amphibians, ah, and birds, b, Mr. Fab. Okay, and that gives you all the groups in the vertebrates. So we're going to stick with vertebrates now. Okay, now vertebrates can be classified further, like we just said, into fish, birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. Okay, so I'm going to take this back. Can you remember what they are? Did you get all five? OK, so now then what I want you to do is, again, if you're following on the worksheet that's attached to this lesson, I want you to have a go at this table. OK, so I want you to dis to describe mammals. What's their body covering? So we've got a little picture there as an example for you to think about. What's their body covering? Are they covered in feathers, furs, scales? How do they breathe? Do they use lungs or gills? Whereabouts do they live? And that last one there, I'll just move myself over, is... 
how do they produce offspring? Do they lay eggs? Do they give birth to live young? So see if you can fill in as much as you can about them. So think about maybe the animal in the picture to help you. There's a little extension task there if you if you can do it. Okay, so pause the video, have a go at doing that, and we'll go through the answers in a minute. Okay. So uh, these are the answers, okay, that you should have um, had a little go at. Pause the video, check, yep, how do you feel about that now? Okay, right, now, last little bit. Not everything is as easily classified as those pictures there, okay? What about this one? Using what you know now, it is, is it an invertebrate or invertebrate? It is a vertebrate, you are right. Okay, so where would you classify it? Is it a mammal, a reptile? amphibian, fish, bird, where would you classify it? Lays eggs, swims underwater, hmm, have a little think. What about a bat? Flies, not got feathers though, got fur. What would you classify a bat as? Have a little think. Okay, so that comes to the end of the lesson. So I hope you've recalled that organisms can be classified based on their appearance, explained the difference between vertebrates and invertebrates and described the five vertebrate groups and thought about problems associated with the classification system. Okay, so well done. Uh, before you finish, how do you think you got them? Yeah? Okay, maybe you need to go back over it. Maybe you've got it. Okay, well done for turning up. Excellent work today.